tell you a little bit about it. At our church, we're very interested and, and intentional about trying to raise up leaders in our church. We think that's important. We think that's our job is to equip the saints for the work of the ministry. And we do that. And there are people uh, who are preparing themselves to become uh, ministers of the gospel in some form or fashion. Now, we're all ministers. You understand that, right? But there are people who want to do that in a, in a bigger way or they feel called to do that. They feel calling. And we want to recognize that and, and we do several things. Our process here is first we watch you and see if you're faithful in your, uh, in your serving, that sort of thing. Are you, um, are you above reproach in your, in your life, that sort of thing. And if you, if you get past that and express an interest in it, then the next step we call licensing. And that's where we say we are acknowledging and putting our uh, stamp of understanding and approval on the fact that you're pursuing this. We're not installing you as a uh, as an office in the church or anything, but it's just a licensure process that says we're recognizing the progress you're making. And that's what we want to do for a young man this morning, is we are recognizing the calling on his life, and we're going to pray for him. We're going to give him a charge in front of all of you. But he's not being installed as a pastor here. He's being licensed as a minister of the gospel to begin uh doing that. And then when somebody is assigned to an office in the church, uh, a pastor role or an elder role or a, a deacon or something, then we lay hands on and ordain them at that point. So what's happening this morning is Jay Davidson, come on up. And we're going to uh, officially license Jay this morning as a minister of the gospel. That and 50 cents will buy you a cup of coffee. <laughs> Can you get a cup of coffee for 50 cents? No, no. Okay. Right. <laughs> anyway, it, it's an honor to get to do this, and, and uh, Pastor Bruce is going to read a charge to you. If you don't agree with it, we ain't licensing. Okay? But if you do, then we'll do that. All right? He's going to read a charge to him, then we're going to pray for him uh, and, and do that this morning. Okay? Will you all join us in that? Yes. Okay. Jay, do you commit to maintain a living and vital relationship with God, which will enable you to fulfill your responsibility as a minister of the gospel? Yes. Do you commit to constantly yield your life to the control of God's Spirit, so that Christ will lift you up and the Spirit of God will manifest His presence, power, and love through you? Yes. Do you commit to make your greatest ministry impact through your life an example of godly Christian living? Yes. Do you commit to nurture your future wife and future family so that your ministry to them will be the basis of your ministry to the church? Oh, yes. <laughs> Do you commit to fulfill the Lord's command to build faithful disciples and not just believers, disciples who will do the work of the ministry of nurturing the saints as well as reaching the unbelieving world with the good news of salvation. Yes. Do you commit to prepare with diligence and with the motive and desire to use your ministry to serve the needs of the kingdom of God? Yes. And finally, do you commit to faithfully study and teach the whole counsel of God as revealed in the scriptures? Yes. Amen. <coughs> Let's pray over it. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your goodness which is revealed to us in all of creation. It's revealed to us in our families, and it's revealed to us, Lord, uh, by the salvation you bring to our hearts. We're grateful for that. And I thank you for this, my brother, who's been born again, according to the scriptures, who has submitted his life to you. Lord, I pray that you'd empower him by your spirit to walk in your ways, to, to shun the ways of the flesh and shun the ways of the world, that he might walk in the spirit and not fulfill the lusts of the flesh, that he might fulfill all that you've called him to do. I thank you for Jay. I pray that you'd bless him in the name of Jesus. I pray that you'd anoint him by your Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.